Hey guys, in this video we have nine different no interview, no resume, work from home jobs where you can apply and basically just get paid to type. You don't have to worry about a lot of phone calls and you have a typically very easy process for interviewing and very flexible schedules. So the first company to check out is called dailytranscription.com. This is a place that is known for having a lot of different types of transcription jobs so if you go here and you go to their career section you'll notice they have a few different listings usually depending on when you check here and when you look at the uh, general transcription one at the top you'll notice that um, this one is for like mostly English speaking countries like the US Canada UK New Zealand etc for this one they would want you to basically listen to audio files and type what you hear so you're gonna need excellent listening and typing skills and you're gonna develop accurate text from audio or video files. The ideal candidate will have a strong attention to detail and ability to work independently, delivering high quality transcripts in a timely manner. So again, transcription is one of the easiest jobs you could probably do. You just listen to audio or video files, you type what's being said, and basically you might have to label the speakers if it's an interview or multiple people are talking, but then once you create that whole video or audio file into a text file, that's essentially your work. That's essentially a done job. But they usually want you to have pretty good typing speed, so you need to have at least a 50 word per minute typing speed, strong listening and typing abilities, attention to detail, work independently, good time management, proficient at using a transcription software for some of these, and basically you need to be able to insert time codes, which is, which is basically like what time was this spoken, and then proofread, proofread your own work, make sure it's high quality. This is 10 to 30 hours per week. And this is experience one to two years. This says 45 to $66 an hour of material. I guess that's per page. I'm not entirely sure what that P stands for, but it's an independent contractor position as well. You also have an AI editor. so. Basically, you'll want to have good listening and typing skills to edit gen AI generated transcript scripts. So if you're interested in AI, you want to have a fairly easy job where you're essentially just editing things, you can do that. Relevant skills will be like excellent grammar and punctuation, listening and typing abilities, able to use transcription software, research un unknown words and names, you know, which pretty much anybody can research stuff like that on the internet and be able to proofread your own work, insert time codes, very similar requirements, 10 to 30 hours a week, one to two years experience, independent contractor, 60 to $90, I believe, per page per hour of material. And then you have like medical transcribers. You have that one paying 75 to $120. You have the subtitling and captioning position, which is 50 to $80. You have legal transcriptions, 75 to $120. So you have all sorts of different options on here where you can get paid to do all sorts of different types of transcription, editing, proofreading, maybe not proofreading, but more like captioning and um, you know transcript editing, AI transcript editing, all sorts of stuff like that, you know, captions. But as far as what people actually claim that they made at Daily Transcription, you can also look at some people's averages on here that they have posted. You see like 22 an hour, 21, that's a pretty common number. You have 23, 26 an hour, and something along those lines is what it looks like. Now, as far as what's like to work here, they have a 3.7 out of five star rating and 51% would recommend working here to a friend. Another place you can check out is gmrtranscription.com, which obviously another transcription related site, but this is one where you can also apply without usually having to go through a traditional interview process. Here at GMR Transcription, you can go to the career section at the top right, and then if they are actually hiring, you can check them out. They are not taking direct applications for transcriptionists. They recruit from job boards and forums like Flex Jobs, Transcription Essentials, Transcription Certification Institute, and Work at Home Moms.com. I'm not exactly sure what that stands for. Uh, I think I've seen that before, but feel free to upload your resume on these boards so we can reach out if interested in working with you. So the thing about them looks like they are now doing these on these specific types of job boards. So if you've ever seen Flex Jobs, Transcription Essentials, Transcription Certification Institute, or 
wahm.com, you can check out those and submit your resume there. But typically GMR transcription is very similar. You do transcription. They usually don't require experience. They have flexible hours. They also sometimes have translation um, services as well that you can do stuff for. Now, as far as what's like to work at GMR transcription, they have a 4.5 out of five star rating and 96% recommend working here to a friend. As far as the average earnings for people who have worked here doing transcription and other related freelance type work, they have, you know, $20 an hour, 21, 19, 23, something along those lines. Usually in the low 20s is what most of these estimates say. Next, we have a company called Rev. I've mentioned Rev a few times in the past. They are a great place to find typing jobs that are going to not only be transcription, but also subtitling and captioning. They're one of the few websites I know that are pretty much always hiring for subtitling and captioning work for independent contractors. If you go to rev.com, you just wanna to go to the very bottom of their website where you will find the freelance section here at the bottom right. It's just a big button that you press. And then here you'll see that you can create a flexible work schedule and basically they have freelance jobs that you can do as little or as much as you want, whenever you want. You can choose from hundreds of jobs. You can enjoy selecting from a variety of projects that actually interest you. So you also get to pick your work and then you get paid on a weekly basis via PayPal when all work is completed. You can also apply from many different countries around the world. So if you are interested in working in, or if you live in one of the countries that they mentioned here, you should be able to apply. And then they have three main jobs. So again, transcription, we've already kind of been over what you do in transcription. You listen to audio and video, type what's being said, label the speakers, that pays up to $1.10 per audio or video minute. Captioning's a little bit different. You're gonna mostly focus on videos. You're gonna type what's being said, creatively convey sounds. So if you've ever watched like a, a video or a movie or something on Netflix or something and you turn the captions on, sometimes it'll show like, you know, a, an asterisk on each side of a word and it'll be like humming or something like that. You know, it'll be like they're conveying what the sound is instead of, you know, it being an actual spoken word. So you'll add those in there and then sync typed audio with the video. So this one, it, the the pay doesn't go as low as transcription, but the top end is about the same. And then when you look at subtitling, you have $1.50 to $3 per audio or video minute. So this is obviously by far the highest paying but you may need to be multilingual to do that. Now, you get paid weekly via PayPal. You can see the average earnings for which one you want to apply for. Free software is supposed to be included as well. You will take a quiz to demonstrate your English language and grammar skills. So that's how they determine if you are able to do this work. They do that instead of an interview. You submit a transcription or caption sample, which will be reviewed. And then if you are approved, you'll be able to register and start earning right away. Now, as far as what it's like to work at Rev, 3.5 out of 5 stars, 59% recommend working here to a friend. As far as how much you could expect to be paid here, on average, you can look at the hourly pay from these reviews. If you look at transcriptionists, you see 22 an hour. You see captioners around the same, which they, they pay about the same. So you would expect that for freelance transcriptionists and captioners, you're looking in the kind of low to mid 20s usually. But if you look at just a freelancer in general, you could get paid around $38 per hour. You see a higher you know, average on this one. I believe this is because they have subtitlers in all of their freelance jobs bundled into one. Now also, another thing you might consider is if you're picking transcription jobs, you might wanna go for like medical transcription. So medical transcription, according to these five people, paid in the higher 20s. So there's a little, little things you can figure out from these things you know, like like what type of transcription you might want to do or if you want to go for more like subtitling instead of captioning, those types of things. But overall, just between all of them, it looks like the biggest average that I've seen from the one that has a significant amount of reviews is $38 per hour for doing either subtitling, transcription, or captioning here. Next, we have transcribeme.com. Transcribeme is another transcription site that's known for constantly hiring transcriptionists, and they are a, an independent contractor site. So you kind of just join, and if you pass the test, you basically become part of their, 
their workers pool and then you get paid when you accept jobs and you get them done by whatever the deadline is so you go to transcribeme.com they'll have all the faqs all the everything you need to know about this i have a few notes for you though to kind of save some time from me having to read every single thing but as far as the pay goes 15 to 22 dollars per audio hour and you have up to 70 plus per audio hour if you're able to get on special teams so you have advancement opportunities that lead to those special teams and also this can include medical and specialty styles which pay even higher rates again i mentioned on the uh, rev.com reviews page medical transcription typically is rated at a higher pay also legal transcription typically pays a little bit higher as well if you're interested in getting higher paying transcription jobs I would recommend trying to go for one of those just based off the reviews I've seen. Freedom and flexibility, you get to work from home, of course, whenever you want, how much you want. You don't have to dedicate long periods of time either. So for instance, if you decide to accept a job and maybe you already have a full-time career, you can do this in the evening and you only have to dedicate a little bit of time because most of the clips are very short. They're only two to four minutes long instead of really long interviews where you might have to dedicate a huge block of time or maybe one day out of your weekend to get all of it done. So that's the nice thing about them is it's easier to hit deadlines. It's easier to do this part time or as kind of like a moonlighting gig outside of your regular job because the clips are so short. And again, you're going to be paid via PayPal. Once you start the application process, you will have to pass an entrance exam to get put in their workers pool. Now, 3.9 out of 5 stars, 64% recommend working here to a friend as far as how much people average for an hour of their time working here. As a freelance transcriptionist, you can look at the hourly pay on Glassdoor. They have quite a few reviews. It looks like it's also in the low 20s for the most part here. Next, we have a company called Casting Words, which is a place where you can also do transcription as well. You would basically transcribe, edit, and complete other short jobs online at your own pace. Work as much or as little as you want, when you want, no fees. They pay you, you don't pay them, of course. So there are the reason they say that is because there are some companies that charge you to apply there, which is a little weird. And they claim it's because, oh, they get so many and it basically weeds out the people who aren't actually serious. But, you know, it's also kind of a shady thing to do. They only hire freelancers, though, and... They also have apparently a Upwork page, so you could also work for them via Upwork as well, which is a major freelancing site. But they also have an FAQ that'll answer any more questions you may have. Like for instance, they'll tell you like how you're gonna be paid via PayPal. Um, and you can also apply from different countries as well. But outside of that, you do not have to have experience. You can work when you want. You're just doing transcription work and there's obviously no phone calls. Now, as far as what's like to work at Casting Words, they have, you know, a few dozen reviews overall, 3.1 out of 5 stars, 44% recommend working here to a friend as far as how much people average in total pay per hour. You know, you're looking at probably pretty close to the same thing, low 20s or so it looks like for the average. So another company where you can actually do some transcription work and typing work is at athreon.com. Athreon.com is, it's Fairly similar to the other ones I've showed you, but I'm trying to give you as many options, of course, as possible. If you're looking for something where you want to do some typing work, no experience, no interview type things, um, there it can help to get on as many of these websites as possible because sometimes one will have more work than the other and there may be up and down times throughout the year. So the more that you have a, an account with, the more work you will have, depending on what your goals are, of course. If you just want something every once in a while, you could probably get away with just doing one website. But Athreon's another great option out there. Athreon is a no phone transcription site. You will basically have to be in North America. So if you're in the United States or Canada, you see right here, you should be able to work here and apply for their different freelance positions. Now, do sometimes they do require some experience. They do require up to two years of experience for some of their positions here. Some of the other ones I showed you obviously don't require experience, but this is just one other thing um, that may make them a little bit different than the others is sometimes they may want that experience. So 
Also, you get to set your own hours and your own schedule. You also have weekly pay here. And they have both entry level and mid career openings on a regular basis. Now, usually entry level means no experience. So I do have some notes that say sometimes they do require two years, but you're still an independent contractor in North America. They, they claim to have both experience and entry level positions. You have work at home opportunities, you have FAQs, all of that stuff. If you click on their opportunities, they'll tell you if they are actually hiring. You don't see any current openings right now. So as far as when to check, just you might just wanna check this website every once in a while to see if they're hiring, but this is one of the more well-known transcription sites out there as well. Now, as far as reviews at Athreon, they have a 3.1 out of five star rating and they have 65% recommend working here to a friend. So as far as just another place to do this type of work, they don't have as many reviews as some of the other ones, but they, and they obviously aren't actively hiring right now, but at least when they do have listings, the nice thing about these companies that do listings, you'll at least know that when they do have a listing, they are actually actively hiring instead of just always taking people into their pool of workers. Now, if you're looking for a transcription, it looks like, you know, 22 an hour is one estimate here. You also see one for 29 an hour. So you could, you're pretty competitive with the other companies I've showed you. Next, we have a company that's a little bit different than the ones I've shown you so far, which is TaskRabbit. Now, TaskRabbit is more known for like a place where you would find kind of a gig economy work, which is basically like peer to peer. You have one person who lives in a city who's hiring another person to do something for them without them being a small business or a corporation. In other words, it's basically like you think of Uber, you think of DoorDash, you think of TaskRabbit. It's kind of along the same lines with different services. TaskRabbit essentially has mostly in-person jobs. You'll notice all sorts of things like um, floor, putting in flooring or assembly or lawn care, cleaning, that type of stuff, mostly home-related work but you also have occasionally something like data entry available, $23 per hour on average. Now you actually can set your own pay rate at TaskRabbit, which is also nice, but you can work how, when, and where you want. You can manage everything from a smartphone app as well. If you wanna check out their smartphone app, it's pretty well rated, 3.8 out of five stars, uh, 12.8 thousand reviews. So as far as uh, TaskRabbit goes, you get to set your own rates, work when you want, and all of that. Now they, they'll tell you the average. This is just the average of what people will earn typically for this type of work. So just as a recommendation to not, you know, compromise your ability to get more jobs, you don't want to go too much higher than this number right here, usually in whatever your local area is. So that number will also vary depending on which major city you're working out of. But you just sign up and create an account and you download the Tasker app, you build your profile, they'll verify your identity and everything, pay the registration fee, set your schedule and work area, and then start getting jobs in your local area. So this is one of the easier ones to apply for as well. You don't really have to have much to apply. And as far as the reviews, 3.6 out of five stars, 65% recommend working here to a friend. And I already kind of showed you what a data entry worker usually makes here. Now, as far as another site where you can find different types of work where you are mostly typing, you have transcription work at 3Play Media. You also have something that's a little bit different called an English voice writer. Now for the transcription jobs, they have both English and Spanish. Required qualifications here, excellent written communication skills, excellent command of English grammar and punctuation, proficiency with internet research and reference resources, ability to manage projects, work independently and closely follow instructions. You must also be 18 years of age or older. If you're looking for um, this type of work, this is gonna be contract work, of course, and we've already kind of been over what you do as a transcriptionist. There's no point in me going over that again. Then they have the Spanish version of this job. Now they also have something that's not necessarily just a typing job. What you're actually going to do is speak into a software. So a voice writer is a unique position that I've only seen at 3Play Media so far, but what you would need is access to a headset computer and internet connection, good communication and listening skills, and a clear speaking voice. Sitting or standing comfortably for the duration of an event, you'll usually have to sit through a live event of some sort up to an hour and a half. And what you're essentially going to do is speak whatever a person is saying in a live event. You're gonna re-speak what they're saying directly into this 
caption software that will automatically generate captions on the live stream. So if you think about captions, you think of like, again, you think of like a Netflix example where you watch something, it has subtitles come up as it's being spoken in the movie. Well, if you, that's typically for things that have already been pre-recorded. Even YouTube videos, when you see that, they've already been recorded. But for it to do captions on a live stream, you don't really see a lot of that. That's how they do it here at 3Play Media is they hire somebody which would be you in this case to be a voice writer where you would re-speak whatever the presenter is saying and the software would generate these captions on a live event. And they do this because it gives everyone the same level of access for live events. In other words, if somebody's hearing impaired or if somebody is having to watch on low volume or possibly mute. They also give you an example of how this looks. So if you click the play button, you'll see you know, somebody doing a live stream and then somebody at 3Play Media basically just re-speaking what they're saying and then the, the uh, transcription is automatically created and pops up on the screen for the captions. So at 3Play Media, you have a, a few reviews here. You have a couple hundred, 3.8 out of five stars, 79% recommend working here to a friend. As far as salaries go at 3Play Media, you have, you know, you have an hourly pay here of $23 an hour, $29 an hour, something along those lines. It looks like, you know, typically it's around $20 to $30 an hour, usually when I check their estimates. Um, you don't see the voice writer on here yet, really, but as far as anything related to freelance or transcription, they're usually in the ballpark of $20 to $30 per hour. And last but not least, we have just simple data entry work, which is at a company called SigTrack.net. One thing you want to look at, make sure it says they are accepting new users when you go here. If they are not, they will tell you. I have seen that message before. It was probably a couple of years ago, uh, especially like I think during and just post pandemic, but they have been accepting new users over the past year or so, maybe a little bit more. And they are a database application that links grassroots campaigns with crowdsourced data entry freelancers. So they have to do, they have a lot to do with like voting and you know, politics and stuff like that in the US. And that's what the data entry work is usually centered around. So access to voter data is restricted by law. Every user must provide proof of US residency. Independent contractors cannot be residents of or work in California or Massachusetts. Windows 10 or 11, Mac or Mac OS 10.15 plus is what you would need for an operating system, high speed internet, and then everything else is kind of just, it's not necessarily required, it's just recommended. They do pay you via PayPal. They'd say a value of a day's work is around $120. So I don't know if that's necessarily capped or not, but as far as how that works is based on your accuracy. And then how you get started, you pretty much look at all the stuff that I've already told you. You know, you get paid via PayPal, you need to be a US resident, all of that stuff. They do mention right here that a dual monitor setup or 4K monitor is not required, but is highly recommended, but you don't have to have that. And then you can take a three to five second video of your driver's license or state ID next to your face. The video file needs to be five MB or less in size. So basically they're just gonna outline how they verify your identity. Again, you do have to be a US resident to improve that. They have a 2.6 out of five star rating. They don't have a lot of reviews though. So I wouldn't be too like alarmed by the reviews so far. Um, if you're like, well, that's a little below average, but uh, data entry wise, they do have uh, $23 as far as the hourly rate for these two people, you have 21 an hour here, 21. Um, this one, I don't know if that's data entry. I, sh I don't really think any data entry job will pay you $58 an hour. So it looks like it's more like 23 an hour at the most on average. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. Please click the like button if this was specifically a helpful topic or video so that I know to cover it more in the future and I know that this is a good subject for you. And also don't forget to leave a comment if you want to suggest something I cover in the future or if you want to ask me a question and I'll see you in the next video.